Hello, and welcome to the Evergreen Cultural Center's Performing Arts Workshops Online. My name is Mandy Tullock, and this is McKenna Rand. Today we're going to bring you the first in a three-part series in our junior acting class, warm-ups and why we do them. Well, wait a minute, why are warm-ups so very important? Well, hmm, let's imagine you're about to do a class presentation, standing up in front of your entire class. Maybe you're going from elementary school to middle school, and it's the very first day of walking into that school. Maybe it's a dance competition, and you're eagerly waiting to go up next. Or maybe, if you're in the business, you're going on auditions, which is like an ongoing job interview. All those times, you have to be the best you can be, and warm-ups help you get there. So let's start with our series of warm-ups. So now we're going to talk about how you stand. Let's use your body the most effective way you can when you're standing. I'm going to use McKenna here to demonstrate some things. So McKenna, can you come up here? We're going to talk a little bit about high status and low status. So McKenna, I want you to go into low status. So you notice McKenna is bringing her feet close together and her arms are crossed somewhere in the front of her body, bringing into a nice tight little space. Her shoulders are rounded and her head is down and her eyes are down. So everybody at home, you guys try that. Show me low status, go right in. Now, how do you guys feel when you're standing like this? How does that make you feel? What kind of a character, McKenna, would that be? A mouse. Okay, so McKenna feels like a little mouse. What do you guys feel like? Shout it out. You're gonna have to shout it really loud because it's gonna come all the way through the television to me. Right, okay, so I heard somebody say they were scared. I, I heard somebody say they were lost. So maybe your character, maybe McKenna, your, your mouse is lost. So show me on the spot how you would be in that low status feeling of scared and lost. Good. Now let's go to high status. Bam! You changed your character. So on this one, you notice that McKenna opened up her feet and she imagined that a piece of string is pulling her beautiful spine all the way up so she's nice and strong. Her shoulders are back, but they're not tight. They're still relaxed. Okay, now we're high status. So McKenna, how do you feel? What's a character you could use that makes you feel high status? Like a boss or a queen. All right, so maybe you're a boss or a queen. So we're standing in our, and we're, we're very strong. What are you guys? A soldier, yeah, that would work. Um, a doctor. Yeah, I, I heard that one. A bear. Oh, I love that. That was really good. You guys are doing amazing. So here we have this standing in high status. So let's go low status. Now this time when we go from low status to high status, I want you guys to feel the difference. How does it make your body feel? So we're going to go closed, high status, open. You see how it makes you feel open and strong, taking up as much space as you can. And now we're gonna go close low status and taking up as little space. And we'll work a little bit more on this later on when we do our next session. All right, so now standing in high status, we're in our neutral stance or our power stance. We're gonna make a note of a couple of things. Don't tighten up those knees so tight. We still need to relax and breathe while we're in this status, right? Okay, so here we have our standing the best way we can. We're gonna work on our breathing. So breathing is really super important. Inside our body, we've got these amazing lungs. And then we have a kind of helper that helps the lungs. And it sits just underneath those lungs called your diaphragm. So the diaphragm's job is to massage your lungs. And I like to call my diaphragm Sven. He's a massage therapist and he massages my lungs. So with our body, we're gonna do our breathing to engage that diaphragm and get that sound out, that compressed air out. This is, helps us tremendously when we do our deep breathing, especially now. So can we have breathing in for five and out for five? We breathe in through our nose and out through our mouths. It's a continuous breath, so no cheating. I don't wanna see anybody doing this. Okay, continuous breath. Here we go, in for five, go. One, two, three, four, five, blow out. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go to 10. We're gonna go a little bit further. I want you to think, imagine that as you breathe in, you're filling up every part of your body. You're sending that 
breath right down to your toes. Let's fill up like we are balloons, okay? So we're gonna go for 10. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Blow out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, now, no cheating here as we're coming out and we're blowing and we stop. Keep going, as I'm counting, keep going. Bring that air up, make Sven work, make that diaphragm, push all the air out of your lungs. Okay, you ready for 20? You can do it, I know you can do it. Mom, dad, you can do it too, it's really good for you. Here we go, we're going in for 20 and out for 20 and no stopping. All right, ready? Go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Blow out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Keep blowing. Seventeen, eighteen. Keep blowing. Nineteen. Make Sven really work hard. Twenty. <laughs> Good. All right. That's really nice. Good work. Good work on that. So now we're going to just get a little bit of extra oxygen, and we're going to use our fingers. We're going to use two different things. We're going to pinch our thumbs to our fingers like this, really nice and hard and we're gonna breathe in quickly and exhale quickly. So it's gonna look like this. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, in. Two, three, four, blow. Two, three, four, last. One, two, three, four, blow. Good, hands down by your sides. Now, have you ever had a day where you're coming to class and you've gotta do a class presentation and your cereal bowl dropped all over the floor and the dog ate your cereal. Maybe you were late for class or maybe you tripped and fell and hurt your knee and you're just not feeling really good coming into class. Well, you're about to give a presentation and you have to put that all aside. So here's a beautiful thing you can do that's gonna help you put it aside. You can go back to that feeling after you've done your presentation, all right? So, we're gonna breathe in through our nose, and we're gonna bring our arms up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna turn to the right, and we are going to blow out all that negative energy that you've had all week, and it's gonna go off to the side. Then you're gonna breathe in through your nose, turn to the left, and breathe out everything negative that happened today. And then you're gonna breathe in, and you're gonna go over into ragdoll. So ragdoll looks like this. So I'm gonna turn McKenna on her side so you can see. So we're just hanging down, but when you go into a, a ragdoll like this, please bend your knees. You don't wanna put that extra tension on that cartilage back there, so just keep it nice and, and loose there. All right, and then when you roll up, you're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time, one little knobby, those knobby things on the back, with your head coming up last. All right, so let's try that exercise. So, um, okay, here we go. We take a big breath in. Breathe it out to the right. Everything negative that happened this week. Oh. Breathe in. Everything negative that happened today, breathe out to the other side. Go, blow it out. Oh. Now we're gonna breathe in and go to the front and blow out anything negative inside. Go. Oh. And you hang. Just stay down there. And then as I bring McKenna up, she's gonna come up one vertebrae, slowly, and then the head comes up last. Oh, your spine says, thank you very much. That was really nice, I enjoyed that. Okay, what's Manny doing now? It's a good idea to loosen up your muscles and just get your body going in a fluid motion. So go find a song that you like, but something nice and kind of slow. So we're gonna start with our heads. Down, up, down. Because in our neck, we have an awful lot of muscles that need to be relaxed. Side, side, side. Now we're gonna go to our shoulder. There we go, let's get those muscles really. Hey, I'm using you. Shoulders up. One, two, 
three. Now we're going to roll the shoulders back. One, two, three. Now we're going to roll the shoulders forward. Kind of like swimming without your arms. Now both. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Wrist. Other wrist. Both wrists. That's easy. Mom, Dad, you're doing awesome. Let's move on to our ankles. Oh, let's go the other way. That's always fun. There you go. And other one. And then we turn it around and down. Let's do our knees, but don't go too hard on those guys. Just doing a little bit. There we go. Now, I want you to step, touch to the side. So we're going to go step. Get that hole. Now, when we move, I want you to make your shoulders kind of follow along. So we're going down, down. Look at that beautiful fluid motion in your body. Nice and soft. There we go. Now, I'm going to get you to step forward by a step touch and step back with a step touch. Step forward, touch. Step, touch. So do it double time. Step, touch. Step, touch. Step, touch. Step, touch. Okay, let's go into a neutral position and give me a big face. So make your face as wide as you can go. Now give me a little face. Push it up. Good. Now do peanut butter. I want you to imagine you got peanut butter all over your mouth and move your tongue. And, and then top over your mouth. Yeah. Now we're moving our tongue all the way around. Good. Now we're going to do a horse. We're going to pretend that we're kind of sneezing like a horse. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to work on A-E-I-O-U. And when we're doing that, we want a big, 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 big face. So you're really, really stretching out all the muscles in your face and make big, wide, round sounds. So slowly, we'll do each one. Okay, here we go. A, E, I, O, U. Good, but I think we should do that one more time. Make a big, big, big round sound, okay? One more time, good job. A, E, I, O, U. Oh, Good. McKenna, that was great, thank you. Could you hum happy birthday for me? Yep, ready? Good, can you put your hands on the top of your head while you're humming and see if you can feel the vibrations in your head? Okay, continue. Good. Try it with your hands on your cheeks. Everybody at home, I want to see if you can feel that vibration in your cheeks. Okay, McKenna, go ahead. Put your hands on your head. Okay, now here's an interesting one. When you're humming, I want you to make sure you smile. All right, so let's see what that feels like and sounds like when we put a smile in our hum. Go. Fill up those sounds in those cheeks. Now raise your eyebrows. Did that feel different in your body? Did you feel it, McKenna? Could you feel that in your cheeks and then bringing the sound up to the top of your head? Okay, continuing working with that, we're going to make some sounds. We want to work with our vowels and our consonants. We want to really see if we can feel the sounds. So can you give me a hmm? Hmm. Now give me a mo. Mo. Give me a more. More. Give me a ma. Ma. Give me a may. May. Give me a me. Me. Good. Let's do that together. We're going to go mo, mm. more, ma, may, me. Ready? 
Really, really elongate that sound at the end. All right, here we go. And mo, more, ma, may, me. Okay, if you want to try, you can do that with almost every letter of the alphabet. You can go crazy and work on that. Let's just put two. So we're going to go with the B. So instead of saying mo, we're going to go boo, boar, ba, ba, b. Okay, ready? All right, here we go. Boo, boar, ba, b. Okay, let's do it with F. That's a different sound. F. Give me the F sound. F. So let's go. Foo, four, fa, fe, fi. Good, that was really good. I like that. I'm going to come in and join in on this one because this one's my, my favorite. Okay? So we're going to bubble. We're going to make bubbles. We're going to go like this. See, it? See how our lips go like this? And we could almost be like, let's do that while we are working a drill in a construction site. Okay, so we gotta, let's get your drill and give me the bubbles, go. Good, all right, I got a test for you. You can try this on mom and dad and auntie and uncle and even your brothers and sisters. Can you do a bubble to happy birthday but you only take one breath? So I challenge you, McKenna, Dum, da, da, dum. We're going to take one big breath. We're going to bubble happy birthday. Ready? Here we go. Okay, she beat me. That was really good. Did you do it? Were you able to do it? Okay, you guys can try that again afterwards. All right. We have another one that's really good to work all those beautiful muscles you have there, and it's a tongue trill. Now, not everybody can do this, but here's the secret. Even if you don't make the right sound and you're trying to do the tongue trill, you're using the muscles. So don't worry about it. Just go for it. It's basically blowing air over your tongue, like this. Those beautiful rolling R's. OK, so McKenna. Have a go. Go. <laughs> See? McKenna can't do it. She's trying and trying to go. <laughs> try it. <laughs> so you still have to do it. That's just perfect. So let's try it to happy birthday and see what happens. I'll, I'll go as well. Ready? Challenge is on. Go. <laughs> So we're going to close now in our warm-up session with something that you can all do at home and you can challenge each person and your family to come up with one. Tongue twisters. These are really good because they really work different components of your tongue. So those who know me know my favorite tongue twister is Unique New York. I like this one so much because if you do not move those muscles around your lips, it isn't happening. So we're going to do it three times, and we'll do it three times slow. You can do it with us as well. So, ready, McKenna? Yep. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. OK, got it? Let's do it three times fast. Ready? I'll count you in. One, two, three. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. OK. How about rubber baby buggy bumpers? So let's go slow first. Rubber, baby, buggy, bumpers. Let's do three times slow. All right, here we go. Rubber, baby, buggy, bumpers. Rubber, baby, buggy, bumpers. Rubber, baby, buggy, bumpers. Let's go three times fast. Are you on? The challenge is on, people. Here we go. Three times fast. Go. Rubber baby, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Yes, very nice. Okay, McKenna, have you got one? Toy boat. Ah, that's another good one. 
You gotta work those muscles for that. So let's everybody try it. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. All right, three times slow. I think we can accomplish that. Take a big breath in. Go. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Here we go, three times fast. Go. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Um, I've got another one that I think is fascinating because it seems really simple. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, this is so easy. It's not. I'm warning you now. Black background, brown background. So let's everybody do it slowly. Black background, brown background. Woo. Now again, you go, oh, I got this. So let's do it three times slow. Black, background, brown, background, black, background, brown, background, black, background, brown, background. <laughs> now we're going to do it fast. And I know I'm going to tongue trip on this one. You ready? Whew, big breath in. Go. Black, background, brown, background, black, background, brown, background, black, background, brown, background. I told you, there's a reason why these are called tongue twisters. So you know what you can do? Go off now, go find some. Go Google some and practice them and then challenge each other to see who can do it all the way through. So we're going to leave you now on our last one. Um, you want to do She Sell Seashells? Sure. And we'll see you next time in part two of the three-part series for junior acting. Take care, stay safe, and wash those hands. Bye. Okay. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore.